Welcome students. We are back for more warm up type activities and today we are going to practice using our bodies in contractions and release. And so a contraction is usually referring to a muscle that is being contracted and tightened. But in dance, contraction actually means rounding. It can mean a muscle pulling contraction. When you contract your bicep, you, you make a muscle. But a contraction in dance is usually a rounding. And a release is a release. And usually that means open. When you think about the air that's released from a balloon, it expands and comes out. And so the contraction in dance is the rounding, rounding or coming up in a curved movement like a sit up or here and a release is an opening. And so I'm going to begin this modern jazz, you could call it contemporary warm up with very long set of repeated rounding and contracting and leaning, okay, and some stretching. But it's a dynamic warm up, okay, and so we will begin. Remember, you're beginning with the basic stance, and so you're standing. I'm wearing shoes, but you can actually do this barefoot. It's just because it's stage. Breathing in, raise your arms up. Breathe them out. Breathing in. Exhale. Do that again two more times. In. Out. In. Out. Take your feet really wide. Point your toes out. In. our arms and bending our legs last time, or rather two more sets. Bring your feet back into basic stance. You're going to lower your upper body and round back up. Lower your upper body. It's like someone kind of pushed you from the middle of your back. So it's flat and then round. It's like you're falling flat down. Drop your head. Up, down, up, down, up. We're going to do the same thing to the side. Fall to the side. To the side. Reach your hand. It's very heavy. Let gravity pull you down towards your foot. Down and up. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to go back to the front. And now I'm going to move my legs. So I'm going to step forward and I'm going to push my hands through imaginary water. Push. If you were in the pool and you tried to push water, it won't go very quickly unless you're at the surface. This is deep water. Pushing. Inhaling. Now I'm going to go to the side. I'm going to step out and bring my leg in. And step out, bring my leg in. Remember, you're falling over like waterfall, gravity. And now forward and back. Forward. Remember, push the front of your hand through the deep water of the pool, rounding your back. I'm going to show you from the side. It looks like this. From the side down over those legs, yes? And that's the end of that song for the warm-up. And so what that is, just quickly to recap, contraction, contraction, and release. So a release, sometimes a release has a leg movement. That's not really what's important, arms versus legs. Release has to do with opening up of the ribs. If you think about the basic stance, and ballet, we are not always doing that when we are practicing warm-ups. Things can be very upright. But when we move 
into jazz and into modern and contemporary dance, we are releasing more, and in fact, ballet has become like that as well. So I want to always emphasize when I talk about types of dancing, it's really hard to find a fine line that will be separating us in those genres of dance. Remember, genre, G-E-N-R-E-S. Genres of dance refers to types of dance, but it's not so specific anymore. Jazz is often seen in ballet and has always influenced ballet. Ballet has been influenced by African dances, particularly West African dances. We know that contemporary dance contains nearly all kinds of dancing. So remember that when you do these movements and you're thinking, oh my gosh, Miss Carrick, I've never done something like this where I'm throwing my body around and arching my back. Well, it will seem like second nature in a matter of no time, I promise. So practice this one over again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.